Tonight, CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn speaks to parents and health experts as concern rises over how contagious monkeypox can be among children. Broward County currently has the highest number of monkeypox cases. And if we just take a look at the stats from the Florida Department of Health, you'll see that there are 237 cases in Broward County, Miami-Dade not too far behind with 135. And as parents are getting ready for back to school, some have questions about monkeypox. Just the number spike alone is what's what's making me more anxious. Jamie Lynn Keechow is mom of two boys in high school and elementary school in Pembroke Pines. I feel um, a little bit more on edge because of monkeypox. And with parents asking questions, we talked with Dr. Eileen Marty, an infectious disease expert at Florida International University. They're not at an increased risk right now of getting monkeypox because it's not spreading in that population. But if they get infected, they are at much higher risk of having severe disease. But ask any parent about kids. Kids are everywhere and they touch everything. So far, the virus has largely affected a segment of the LGBTQ plus community. However, it could spread beyond it. Well, I think it's really important that there be a lot of communication between families because there, we've already had a few children, and I'm talking not the teenagers, the children, the small children in the United States in a couple of states. It's been household contact. My mom took me to get my COVID shot. <laughs> Jace's mom, Jamie, likes the idea of prevention, but the current vaccine for monkeypox is only available to people 18 and older. My question probably would be if it would make any difference to clean services and continue to sanitize everything. It is absolutely influenced by the dose of the virus that gets in per unit time. So by keeping things clean, you're going to reduce that risk. And so yes, Dr. Eileen Marty says, yeah, you got to keep those surfaces clean and you also want to make sure that your hands are kept clean as well. And if you wear a mask, it could help prevent the transmission of respiratory droplets. In Pembroke Pines, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.